Hi, and on this lesson I will explain you what is the RAID 1 level of the disk. It's a redundancy array of inexpensive and dependent disks. So for RAID 1 you have to have a minimum two physical hard drives and it's also maximum two hard drives. You can use three of them in order to use uh, RAID 1. So for, uh, then you combine these two disks into one. Uh, with RAID 1 and you have uh, for example two files and you're going to copy them onto the disk what's happening oh, here we go as you see the file is copied fully copied to one disk one hard drive and the fully copied to the second hard drive it's like a, a mirroring copy of it like dupli a exact duplicate copy on the second drive then you copy another file it happens exactly the same the same file copy to just to two both to both <coughs> hard drive disks. So uh, here you can you, you, you can understand that then you uh, merge two hard drive each one of them one terabyte you will have one RAID one disk uh, with the size one terabyte. The second terabyte just went to uh, or used for a backup copy. Yeah, this is a disadvantages of uh, this RAID level because yeah, uh, you like you buy for example like uh, two hard drives, each one of them four terabytes, and you think wow, I will have eight to in total. Not you will have only four because the second drive will be will be used for a uh, mirroring. Okay, but what's good in the RAID one level if one of your disk is failed, totally failed, and end of life your data is available and you can continue to use and to read and write your data is still available for you you don't lose your data because on the second drive you have a full copy of your files so this is a, one of the advantages of uh, this RAID level the second advantage of this, uh, this RAID 1 level is <coughs> the read performance really fast because you read the same file from two hard drive disks the write performance will be same as one drive because yeah you're just uh, writing full file to both disks but read performance really great uh, what is good for a RAID 1 level it's for critical mission uh, files uh, for example um, I don't know a like small server uh, which can support like um, not so many hard drives and you like you have two uh, data drives and just to combine them into RAID 1 level to uh, <coughs> sorry to place for example database like not so a very uh, complex database so the read uh, will be good and if the one drive is failed you will still have this database available for your customer for you uh, so that's all this is a RAID 1 level very easy and it's called mirroring. If you want to see how it's uh, how to uh, set it set it up on the Windows, just uh, stay tuned. Yeah, you see, data is available. Okay, here we have Windows 2016. Let's open Disk Management. Start disk msc Tick. You can use this management even in disk uh, in Windows 6P. Okay, <coughs> this management. See, I inserted three new hard drives, and it's uh, asking me to select the record table if it's MBR or GPT. I use MBR for disk a uh, till four terabytes, and GPT only for disk a uh, about four terabytes. So MBR, it will initialize them. Okay, here we go. 3 disk. Right click on one of them, new mirrored volume. Next, and which disk will be mirror? This one. And if you want to add third one, you will not able, it's grayed out for you. Only two disk. Drive will be D. Let's say here RAID. My RAID one. And perform a quick format. Next, finish. It will be <coughs> converted to dynamic. No problem. Okay, you see the two disk dynamic. And one more sec. All right, I have drive D available here as mirror dynam dynamic, and the size of this drive is only 10 gigabytes. 
let's create some file folder yeah this one yes create one more yeah it's okay okay but right now let's initiate a failure of the drive for this reason i will shut down window and we'll remove one disk you will see the missing one here and we'll try recover it with this one new okay so stay tuned Okay, we back. Let's see this computer if drive is here. No, my drive not here. And where's my files? Where's my folders? So let's open disk management, see what's happened there. Disk MGMT MC. Oh, come on. Oops. Disk. Okay, you see my drive failed. This is a missing drive and this is a drive which is still available, but it's failed. Okay, what should we do? We just need to remove this mirror and, and, and add this as a new one. Oh, let's right click on this one. Uh, you can reactivate volume. We recommend that you run say, check this just to check if it's everything okay. run plex is missing it's okay it's saying that it's still missing uh, the, the, the mirror still missing okay let's, let's remove this one remove missing disk okay let's add uh, <coughs> ah, first of all <coughs> let's see if it's available yo you see our disk here and here our folders everything <coughs> recovered so let's just add for redundancy uh, the new new mirror. This is drive D, our new disk. It will be converted to dynamic and will be synchronized. Yes, it starts synchronizing to be exactly the same as this drive. So that's all. Our files here. <coughs> so we saw right our redundancy and our failure of the drive. So thank you and see you next lesson.